Man has curiosity. Curiosity and imagination bring you things like stories. Yeah, but Einstein says you can't travel faster than the speed of light. Science fiction is basically saying there are no limits. That's right. Think outside the box, no matter what somebody tells you, no matter right. what you've learned, throw all that away and say, I can do anything I want to do. You're in a completely different universe. One of the reasons why I made Star Wars is it's made for 12-year-olds. It appeals to everybody, but it was still made for 12-year-olds. We and, were all 12 and, once. And I tell people, don't underestimate 12-year-olds. They're smarter than the rest of us. Right. They get stuff much faster than you do. Yeah. And the whole point was to get them to allow to think, allow them to think outside the box. And the yeah. whole thing is subjective and dreamlike. Yeah. Who said Wookiees can't fly? Well, I said they can fly. Yeah. I said, I'm not going to obey the rules. If you can imagine it, you can do it. But if you can't imagine it, you can't do it. Yeah, because it's the prison of your own mind, again. It's that prison of your own mind that allows you to do it. And you can enjoy that and come up with really crazy stuff. Talk about what your influences were that fed into the creation of Star Wars. As much as Star Wars seemed to just leap from your forehead, no. fully formed, it had roots that any, nothing, anybody in the science nothing, fiction world knows. Nothing in this world pops into your head fully formed. It's an accumulation of all the things you've seen, and then when you go to regurgitate it into a, your own thing, you take all the best parts. You only see robots in a positive role right. in your in your films, which is interesting because that's where so much of the progress is being made now with companions for the elderly, uh, robotic nurses. They're gonna make life better for us. Because you have two of the most popular AI characters in, in, in pop culture, which are R2-D2 and, and C-3PO. They're AIs. At the time, I said, don't be afraid of the robots. You know, the robots are our friends. Let's see the good side of the robots. Yeah. And the funny side, because let's face it, for a while they're gonna be a little goofy. I've just about had enough of you, you near-sighted scrap pile. You know, we're gonna live in a world with robots and artificial intelligence. Yeah. You might as well get used to it. You shouldn't be afraid of it. And we should be very careful not to have it be bad. But if it goes bad, it's us, yeah. it's not them. Well, thank you for doing this. My pleasure. This has been an amazing brain jam. Yeah, well, this is all I have to do now. <laughs> and I don't get to do it very much. <laughs>